items and I'm really excited to show you guys my little ideas that I have for in here. If you like any of these ideas, definitely use them in your own home. I would love to see what you guys do as well. I do love starting my fall decor in the kitchen because I think there's so much you can do with your countertops. There's so much decorating you can do with food and snacks. If you guys enjoy watching this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So the first place I want to start decorating in here is on this island. This is kind of like the main centerpiece to the entire kitchen and I really want to dress it up a bit. Right now it just has some candles, fake eucalyptus on this tray and I'm just going to be removing that so we can start fresh. I do love using a tray on the island so this time I'm going to be using this beautiful basket that I found from Home Goods. It just reminds me of an apple picking basket. I love the weave. It's very simple, very farmhouse, and I think it looks a lot like fall. So I'm really excited. This is gonna be kind of our grounding place for our entire decor piece, and we're really gonna be building off of this. So I'm gonna be weighing it down with the vase that we initially used. And instead of eucalyptus, I'm gonna be putting this wheatgrass or hay. I'm not really sure what this is called, but it looks like fall and it's super cute, whimsical, light, and very natural looking. So loving the warm tones that it brings in here. It just gives a really wispy look and I'm loving the way this is turning out. Now this piece isn't done yet. I love the height that it's giving, but I'm gonna add in some color, some food, a really fun detail. So we're gonna be filling this entire basket with gala apples. These are my favorite kind of apples, so I just love having them on the countertop so I can eat them. But I also really like the color that it gives off. And apple picking is such a fall activity, and this just reminds me of apple picking. So I really love the way this looks. It's a functional piece of decor. It looks nice on the counter, and it's just something that you can constantly refill, put different fruits and vegetables in. You could put pumpkins in instead, but I really love the way the apples look in this basket, and this whole piece looks like a great centerpiece for the kitchen. And now to add some fall detail to the stove and dishwasher. I'm gonna be doing the simplest thing, just adding in some new dish towels. I got these both from Home Goods for about $5.99 each. It came with a pack of two, so it works for both stove and dishwasher. I love this one for its traditional pattern and this one for its simplicity. So I'm gonna be layering them both in together and to get a really cozy kind of fall soft touch. So first I'm gonna be hanging the leaf pattern towel. This one's a lot softer, I have it hanging a little wider and then I'm gonna be layering in the more simple towel that's gonna to be a little more structural on top and I just love the way this looks together I think it has a really cool juxtaposition between the two so I'm doing the same thing to my dishwasher and that will just add this really cute fall layered look This is one of the easiest ways to add new colors and patterns into your kitchen. Without being too loud about it, you can always switch these out, change them up for each season, so it's nothing that you have to really commit to, but you can really have fun with. Another area I'm gonna be decorating in this kitchen is around my sink. This area is used so often, so I really wanna make it festive as well. I'm gonna be replacing these soap dispensers for a really cute fall look. I'm gonna be using this basket tray to hold a pumpkin spice, soap dispenser and a little real pumpkin. I love the way this looks together. I think it looks very fall, very farmhouse, very festive. I love this amber bottle that this pumpkin soap came in. I found this at Home Goods and I picked up the tiny pumpkin from Trader Joe's. On the other side of the sink, I have this faux plant that I put inside of this ceramic canister. So I'm just gonna be taking that out and replacing it for the wheatgrass again. I think this looks very whimsical over here. It adds height to the other side of the kitchen here and it really will balance out the entire look. 
Now I really wanted to add some texture and warmth to this countertop area, so I'm gonna be using this give thanks sign slash cutting board style thing that I found at Home Goods. I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is other than just looking cute on your counter, so that's the way I'm using it. I think it looks so nice. I love signs, I love the font that's on here, and just layering it in with a cute little pumpkin and a nice candle is really gonna give that warm textural vibe. I feel like fall decor is all about the these warm tones, layers, textures, shapes, and cute little signs that say really sweet things. So I think this is absolutely perfect to tie in this whole coffee nook with the rest of the counter space. So now that that side of the kitchen's looking cute, it's time to move on to this corner. I just love styling little corners of the kitchen. I'm just gonna start fresh, remove everything, and bring in these really pretty canisters that I found from Home Goods in two different sizes. I'm gonna be filling them with fall candies and fall M&M flavors. So this one's gonna be the sweet one, and this one is gonna be filled with M&M pumpkin pie flavored candies. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be really hard to stay away from. I specifically chose these for its neutral color, it's fall vibe. I'm just gonna be placing these into the corner here so they're on display. They're super cute. Candy is such an easy and fun way to decorate with color so you can easily switch these out, add new ones in, and it makes your kitchen really inviting. So to complete the fall kitchen decor, I'm going to be decorating this dining room table. I'm going to be bringing in some ceramic pumpkins and candles and lanterns and really giving a whole layered look in here. I love these pumpkin covers that go right over top of candles. It makes me feel a lot more safe about lighting them. And a lantern as well. Lanterns add a really cozy outdoorsy feel. So I love bringing these in in the fall time and just completing this look with these beautiful wooden coasters from Two Tone Craftworks. This table is looking layered beautiful, elegant, and also very cozy. I love the candles, the lanterns, and the pumpkins all layered together. I think it really highlights the kitchen, it brings the entire look together, and really gives off a really festive fall touch. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's fall decorate with me. I love the way this kitchen turned out. It's so warm and cozy and festive. I love that we decorated with texture, plants, food, snacks, and it just makes it look super cute and unique. These are all really fun decorating ideas that you can use anywhere in your house. So if you don't want to decorate your kitchen, you can take these ideas to your living room, your front entryway, a bathroom, wherever you want. But I love the way this looks in this kitchen. Let me know down below what your favorite decorating idea was from this video. I really like the ones that incorporate food. 
I don't know why, I think they're so cute. They're also really functional as well, so having the apples out, you know, encourage people to eat apples. It looks festive and colorful, so I really like the apple basket with the hay coming out, and I'm loving the candy jars. I just love candy in general, so if you use it as decor, it always makes it so much more fun. You can switch it up for any holiday or any color scheme that's going on in your space, so let me know if you guys are doing any really cool, unique decorating things at your house. What are you doing for your kitchen? What's your color scheme? Theme. I want to know are we on the same page here are we on opposite pages anyways if you enjoyed watching today's video definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and if you guys haven't already make sure that you're subscribed to my channel click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one bye